suspect in Plymouth stabbings charge Braintree incident possibly connected. Investigators believe there is a likely connection between the stabbings of six individuals on Saturday, including two employees at a McDonald's restaurant in Plymouth and four girls at an AMC theater in Braintree. What began as a pleasant summer evening at the movies for Lisa Dembowski's three daughters and their friend turned into a nightmare. The group had settled into their seats at the AMC Braintree 10 around 6 p.m., ready to enjoy the John Krasinski film. If, without warning, a man armed with a knife approached from behind and attacked the girls, including Dombowski's nine-year-old twins and her 17-year-old daughter. The attacker laughed as he wounded the children before being chased away by the two oldest girls. Although they survived the ordeal physically, they were left deeply traumatized. I think they are terrified that they could just go to a movie on a Saturday night, and this could happen. Someone could just walk into a movie theater and do this. Dimbowski shared, highlighting the profound impact of the incident on her daughter's sense of safety. The stabbings at the theater were part of a violent spree that evening. Authorities reported that a man from Chilmark had also attacked two McDonald's workers in Plymouth before crashing his Porsche in an attempt to flee from state police in Sandwich. Jared Ravitza, 26, has been arrested and faces multiple charges, including assault with intent to murder. He is set to be arraigned on Tuesday at Plymouth District Court. According to Plymouth District Attorney Timothy J. Cruz, both state police and Braintree police had indicated that the crimes in Braintree and Plymouth appear to be connected. Two law enforcement officials briefed on the investigation confirmed to the Globe that Ravitza is a suspect in the theater attack. Ravitza had previously been arrested in April by West Tisbury Police on Martha's Vineyard for assault and battery on a family member and vandalism after allegedly attacking his father. Court records from Edgerton District Court reveal that Ravitz's father reported a mental break led to the assault, leaving him with injuries to his face, thumb, and wrist. Ravitza also caused significant damage to his father's home office. Despite these incidents, Ravitza was not held following a mental health evaluation at Martha's Vineyard Hospital. The case was directed to pretrial diversion, with a session scheduled for November. The investigation into the stabbings is ongoing, with no indication that Ravitza knew any of his alleged victims. The attack in Plymouth reportedly stemmed from a pay dispute. Dimbowski expressed her bewilderment and desire for justice, stating, I hope he gets what he deserves. I mean, I understand mental health. I'm a counselor. I think it's a pretty sick individual to harm children. Her oldest daughter sustained a back injury. Another was wounded in the chest and the other twin was cut across her arm. Dimbowski criticized AMC employees for initially dismissing the girl's claims of being stabbed, forcing her 17-year-old to call the police. A worker at the theater directed inquiries to an AMC media hotline, but the company did not respond to requests for comment. The girls were treated at Boston Medical Center due to the severity of their injuries. Dimbowski praised her eldest daughter's composure during the attack, noting, I give her an enormous amount of credit because in my mind, her and her friend kept the two little ones completely calm. She also commended the police and EMTs for their empathetic response and the hospital staff for their calming influence on the girls. However, 
Dembowski remains frustrated by the random violence inflicted upon her children, stating, It makes parents sick to bring their kids anywhere or let them go anywhere without them. The assailant fled the Braintree Theater in a black SUV. Approximately an hour later, in Plymouth, multiple 911 calls reported the stabbing of two workers at the Route 3 Rest Area McDonald's around 7 p.m. Both employees were hospitalized with knife wounds. Surveillance footage reviewed by investigators appeared to show Ravitza reaching through the drive through window to stab a male victim before parking his car, entering the restaurant, and stabbing a female worker. Ravitza then fled the scene in his vehicle. A witness provided Ravitza's license plate number to Massachusetts State Police, leading to the identification of his black 2018 Porsche Macon. State Police attempted to stop Ravitza's Porsche, but he crashed shortly after. He was apprehended in Sandwich around 7.15 p.m. by State Police and local authorities on Cotuit Road near Asa Meggs Road. Ravitza was taken to South Shore Hospital for treatment of non-life-threatening injuries and remained there on Sunday. Authorities have learned of an alert for Ravitza's arrest related to other incidents. Connecticut State Police reported a fatal stabbing on Saturday, which ended with a suspect being taken into custody by Massachusetts State Police. Although the connection to Ravitza has not been confirmed, the victim in the Connecticut stabbing was found dead in Deep River, Connecticut, after police responded to a disturbance report at 3.36 p.m. Saturday. The identity of the victim was not confirmed as of Sunday. Connecticut State Police assured the public that there was no active threat and referred additional questions to Massachusetts State Police, who did not confirm a connection between Ravitza and the Connecticut case. As the investigation continues, the community grapples with the shock and fear generated by these seemingly random and violent attacks. The incidents underscore the unpredictable nature of violence and the challenges authorities face in preventing such tragedies.